welcome viewers to uh, episode seven, season two of our um, Stu and Coco podcast. Uh, today, we're uh, joined for our Inspirational Business Leader Award by Andy Tooley, co-founder of 8Build. Uh, welcome, Andy. Hi, Tony. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you as well. Um, for all of our viewers who don't know 8Build, uh, it's been a key client of ours for uh, at least the last 10 years. Um, 8 Build celebrating their 15th anniversary this year in business. Uh, and we get, we'll explore that. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a sec. Um, but I guess, Andy, uh, to, to, for, those, for those of us who, who know you or don't know you, tell us a little bit more about 8 Build and what makes you as a business so special. I guess it's um, quite simple. It's people. You're in the people business and um, very much what makes us great um, is our people, our eight builders, as we like to call them. Um, all of our team love a challenge. Um, they always work well as a team. They're dedicated to our business, uh, show loyalty, and um, uh, they're a great part of what we do. Um, they help us in our agility to adapt skill sets to all types of construction across many sectors. Um, and many of our teams specialise and champion different styles of project. Um, whether it be fast track fit outs, logistically challenging projects within central London, um, or sort of historic um, projects that, uh, revamping the old. Um, so, uh, yeah, very much, very much our people. That's, that's what makes us uh, who we are. Yeah, it's interesting you say that. Um, from my point of view, there aren't many businesses uh, of your size that. Um, operate in the vertical in the number of verticals you operate at the level you do um, you know we work with a number of general general contractors but in terms of excellence in your verticals I think I think they build a pretty rare yeah I, th I think we, we, we like to specialize in, in different things and um, very much our people like to be challenged and uh, we like to think that we do difficult and if somebody's got something particularly tricky that they want to deliver, um, we're very much in the frame for it. And um, all of our people um, love, love a challenge, which, is, uh, which makes it a great place to be because um, you have to work together as a team in order to meet those challenges. So, um, yeah, it works well for us. And I think a testament to that, I always like to think, is to look at our client base and, and see how much, how what proportion of that of that client base comes back to us. And I'd say probably around eighty percent of our current opportunities are through repeat repeat clients, which is uh, which is great testament to the way our people work. Tell us a bit. Uh, I know that uh, two thousand and twelve, you opened up uh, a Singaporean office, right? Tell us, tell us more about the journey from uh, establishing in 2012 to where you are now, including that international piece. Yeah, indeed. So we started the business, uh, we started 8Build um, uh, back in 2005. Um, in 2008, when things weren't looking so great across the, uh, across the globe with, a, um, with the way the, the, the world economy was going, we were looking around the world to see where we might um, uh, be able to sort of branch out to. And Singapore is very much, um, it has a very uh, English way about the law, which is, which is good. Uh, it's a very straightforward place to work. Uh, one of our founding members uh, had some experience of working in um, the Far East as well, Andy Marr. And he said to us at the time, look, let's, uh, let's have a go um, and, and look to establish um, a business out in Singapore, um, which we did. Um, and um, to start with, Andy was going out there um, perhaps two or three days a month, um, looking, looking at different op options there. Uh, eventually that turned into a week, a month, then two weeks a month, and eventually uh, he moved his family out there. Um, wow. And, uh, you know, that's an incre incredible commitment. And as I say, I said before, um, it's down to the people we have there as much as it is here. Um, our uh, Singapore of office this year uh, has been uh, nominated as a finalist in this year's British Chamber of Commerce uh, Award for Employer of the Year, which is, again, 
that's a great thing for Andy and his team out there as to what they've done. Andy himself has been um, elected as co-chair of the Built Environment Business Group um, uh, for the for the British Chamber, Chamber of Commerce out there as well. Um, so that's uh, that's, uh, that's all good stuff. It's, uh, it, it's it's a great journey that he's been on out there, and uh, he's done a fantastic job creating a business literally out of his suitcase. Yeah, from scratch. Yeah. Mm. Tell us also about recent UK project wins. So I know we spoke recently about the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. That sounds like a real cool car. Big scheme, tricky scheme, central London, um, and, and obviously something that's very topical at the moment. It is indeed, yes. I mean, I think uh, um, tropical medicine is something that's on, on the forefront of everybody's mind at the minute. Um, and I think uh, Lushtum, um, it, it's a framework we're on there, so it's not just one project. We're on their framework across uh, across a number of campuses, not just uh, for them, but also for other universities in the area. And we picked up our first project there at Tavistock Place, which is a, a new build um, uh, project with a very, very difficult um, logistics strategy, literally uh, building, the, building the building in a landlocked site um, through a very small um, access area. So, uh, um, as I was saying earlier, we love it a challenge. like keyhole surgery. It, it is a little bit, it is a little bit in beef, yeah, yeah. Um, exciting exciting it is and, and then and tell us uh, again we talked about excellence across a number of different uh, uh verticals so, you know uh, even even travel tell us about uh, london city airport yeah so we we, we secured um, probably um, timing wasn't so great there but we secured a project for london city airport um to revamp their t- terminal building um uh, probably about a year ago no probably more than a year ago probably 18 months ago uh, and for obvious reasons, that's been uh, been, been put on hold. Um, but we've continued down there uh, delivering um, a number of projects for them in and around the airport, which are essential for uh, meeting new regulations and so forth. Um, we've even been putting power into aeroplanes, which is not something that we've done before, but uh, uh, where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. Uh, um, that's very much got us into um, the aviation sector. So we've got opportunities elsewhere. Uh, which has been very interesting. And uh, uh, as I said, we've got transferable skill sets with, with our people uh, and, and they're very much uh, uh, very much in tune with the way um, the airport work. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's been a challenging year, as it has for most. But certainly by the sounds of things, that rich diversity and, as you've, you've said, your, your client-first approach which has led to 80% repeat business. Uh, are you feeling positive about next year? 100%, yeah. I think if, if you don't feel positive about the future, then um, uh, it'd be time to hang your heart out up and, um, and move out. I think there's very much a light at the end of the COVID tunnel. Um, and I think not just for us, but the whole industry should be very proud of its response to the pandemic. Um, everybody's pulled together, clients, professionals, subcontractors, even recruiters, Tony, yeah. yeah. Um, and we've ridden out the 2020 storm, and I think the uh, 2021 should provide a little bit uh, more normality back into the world, which will be a, um, which will be a, a, a great relief to all of us, I think. And um, there's, there's, there's a lot of work out there. There's a, there's a great pipeline. Um, and, um, you know, we've, we've got to stick by our clients and, and make sure we deliver on on our promises um, going forward. And uh, I think that's important for, for everybody in the industry, not just us. Um. Okay. Now, tell us, uh, obviously, um, we're doing this podcast as part of our Inspirational Business Leader Award, right? Um, tell us about your nominated charity and why, why you've chosen this charity. Okay, um, so uh, Michael Sabell Hospice is uh, a hospice in um, London Borough of Hillingdon. And it provides care for people um, from a local community who face um, limited, um, a life-limiting Ill- illness, and it provides um, vital support for their families and carers. Um, it's a great charity, um, and um, sadly, two years ago, their inpatient, inpatient unit had to close. Um, it, it couldn't support. Um, support itself uh, as it was in sort of 
um, need a refurbishment. Um, and um, last year we, we helped them out and we did a not-for-profit project um, to get it back up and running uh, and to allow it to reopen. So it's something very close to our heart. Um, it also uh, helped provide exceptional care to one of our founding members, of, uh, members a few years ago. So again, it's, it's, a, it's a very, uh, very poignant charity. Um, and um, this month, we've just become founding members of their corporate partnership network, uh, which shows our commitment to them um, and uh, all the hard work that they do um, in, in the community. So uh, uh, the Michael Sober Hospice is our, our chosen charity. It's your chosen charity. Okay, fantastic and a and, uh, very worthwhile charity. Um, so I guess the, 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 the last thing to come on to, Andy, is um, who is, you know, for this year, for you, who is your inspirational business leader? Yeah, so it's a real difficult one because um, I think across many businesses, uh, many organisations, lots of people have stepped up over the last nine months uh, in some horrendous circumstances. Uh, we're facing times that nobody really understood to start with, and I'm not sure they particularly understand now. Um, but I've been extremely selfish, and I've picked one of our eight builders um, as my uh, nomination, and that's our uh, HR and finance director, Leslie Hammond. Um, she basically has probably the two most difficult roles any business could possibly have at the moment, which is uh, looking after people uh, and looking after money. Um, Leslie's worked tirelessly over the last nine months and she, she's looked after all of our eight builders at the same time as making sure that all our finances are in good order. Um, she's had some very difficult conversations with some of our team and has shown compassion, positivity uh, with everybody that she speaks to. Uh, she generally cares about every single eight builder in the business, um, which, is, uh, which is incredible. Uh, she always makes time for people. Um, she always has time for a chat, some advice, or generally just listening to someone, which is important in these times. Yeah. Um, she's been key in communicating updates to the whole company. Uh, when people are spread to the winds, whether they're working from home, out on site, in one of our offices, um, Leslie's been sort of a catalyst of bringing that communication to everybody in the business, which has been really important for people's um, mental health and well-being, which is, uh, which is so, so important at the moment. Um, she's been amazing, to be honest. Uh, she's been calm in the face of adversity, and kept spirits up during the most challenging times. I think the business, the industry, the country, even the world has faced for many generations. So um, she's my uh, my nomination for uh, inspiration business leader. Fantastic. So Leslie Hammond, your nomination for inspirational business leader. Um, if she does get the most likes and shares from all of our podcasts, um, our, our prize uh, money prize award will be going to the Michael Sobel Hospice. Uh, which sounds like uh, both both a very worthwhile charity. And again, having worked with Leslie Hammond over the last few years, I think she's a super lady, very talented and a real asset to 8Build. Um, very much. Yeah. So, to, listen, thank you very much for your time, Andy. I wish you and all of your 8Builders the very best uh, and, and for an exciting and uh, um, positive 2021. And... Um, yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you, Andy. Indeed, no problem at all, Tony. It's been great to talk to you. And you. Bye-bye.